What's up everyone? In today's video we're going to take a look at the 500 watt motor and we're going to install it on Xiaomi M365 and try it with different battery packs to see how much speed can we actually get on M365. Let's go for it! Before we start making any hardware changes to the scooter itself, first we need to jump into the computer and take a look at the software or the firmware that we want to use on the Xiaomi controller. So my plan for today is to take a standard M365 with a 10 inch tire with a standard motor and try to see what maximum speed can we reach. Then install 12S battery on the same controller with the same firmware and try running it again and see what difference does that make. Then we replace to the 500 watt motor which is twice more powerful in theory. And we try with the stock battery, with 12S battery. Okay, so this is the website we are going to use the Xiao Gen version 2.0.5 firmware. It works only for the Pro scooter. So while my M365 is classic, you need to be aware that your dashboard needs to be the M365 Pro dashboard. And please read all the instructions here below and make the firmware as you want i will not go through each and every step but i will share my file with you at the end i decided not to share these settings with you because using them i have burned my controller but we will get to that later in the video and when i say burn my controller i didn't burn the traces because i reinforced them with a lot of solder but i actually burned two mosfets and something else which i can't figure out what it is so i ordered a new one and waiting for it to arrive now this footage that you're seeing right now is me riding with 10 inch tires, stock motor, 250 watts and stock battery pack. As you can see my speed reaches around 27-28 km per hour. There are small blips of getting to 29 or 30 but I would say that scooter can reliably ride 27-28 km per hour. Now we will install this 12S battery pack and see how much speed do we get with the stock motor and 12S battery pack. After using 12S battery pack we can see that the maximum speed we could reach was 35 km per hour and the scooter can easily maintain 32, 33, no problems. So 12S battery pack adds quite significant amount of acceleration and speed. All right, so let's see how fast. Whoa! It has way more torque than the stock motor. It's heavier. I can feel it's heavier. It's way more torque. Acceleration is much faster. So the stock one was able to maintain speed of 27, 28. I can see that this one will be faster. And the acceleration is better. All right, so the moment of truth, if by the end of this little bike path we are getting more than 27, 28, then I can tell you that this motor is as well faster. So definitely two, three kilometers per hour more compared to the stock one. As you can see, the 500 water only added a couple, like two kilometers per hour more and much less than 12 as battery pack. So if you are thinking to upgrade the speed of your scooter and you think either battery or motor go with the bigger battery first and the bigger motor will actually only show full potential when you put it together with bigger battery pack so we are on 12s battery and 500 watt motor acceleration is nice very nice i would say oh my god i'm flying now making some noise but we're going 37 without without any bigger issues man it's going fast now I wonder what will happen if I put him if I put this motor with another motor making noise when it reaches more than 35 
Man, I need a helmet for this. I have now disconnected the controller from the the motor from the controller and the motor is spinning freely which indicates that we have burned the controller unit. So we're gonna take another controller, reinstall the software and give it another go. But uh, obviously this controller is a little bit too weak for the power that we're sending through it. And it's not a big surprise, the stock Xiaomi 365 controllers are not great. And this one was the aftermarket one. But damn, the motor itself is great. With 12S battery, it was going 38, 39 kilometers per hour. I believe we can easily make it 40. And if you install two of those motors on M365 and put like 14S battery, you will be going 45, 50 if you need that. Be sure to also install additional brakes then. Anyways, today's short video is like this. First look at 500 watt motor and another burn controller for M365. I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. My God. I always read the comments and I try to reply to all the comments addressed to me. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend guys, cheers, see you in the next video.